Craig and Leighton Free, Tanya Williams, four times she has been in this final. She is the defending champion from the University of Illinois. She's out very quickly, a very evenly matched race, and it's going to be a battle of wills, I think, right? As a lot of the athletes will be bunched together coming off those last few hurdles. Williams looking good down the back stretch, though. Right now it's Michelle Johnson of Arizona out in lane eight with no one to chase who is running a great race, but oftentimes when you're out there by yourself, running so fast at the last 100 meters, it really starts to get difficult. And Williams just bursting around this turn. Where's that close race? I'm not sure. Stepping up when it counts. Tanya Williams, the defending champion. One more hurdle to go, and Tanya Williams well out there in the orange of Illinois in lane two. That's Ryan Tolbert trying to give chase, but it's Tanya Williams. She's going to defend successfully as she wins the 400 hurdles. 54, 56, a big personal best for her. Previous best from last year, 55, 17. The women's 400 hurdles has become a U.S. stronghold, so Tanya Williams will have a tough time making the U.S. Olympic team. But she was extremely pleased with defending her national championship, and she talked to our Michelle Tafoya. I was extremely nervous because last year I only had one other person to worry about, which was Lottie. But this year it was like three or four other girls that ran 56 or better. So I just got out there and did what my coach told me to do, move my arms and work the curve, and I should be okay.